You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're now going to be talking on the telephone all about a performance that's happening at Ideas Test. Firstly, the both of you, thank you very much for joining us. Would you be able to firstly introduce yourselves for us? Sure. Uh, I'm Tanya Holland-Williams and I run Davy Jones Locker, which is a new music programme. Um, and I, I also sing and perform myself. And I'm here with... Gavin Alexander, and uh, I'm a member of Arkelia, which is a folk pop trio, and we're performing on the 29th of September at uh, David Jones Locker. So I was hoping you could tell us a little bit more about this project and uh, how it came about. So uh, a couple of years ago, I can't believe it's been that long, we set up a project, or I set up a project with a group of musicians to try and think about how to engage audiences with the more extreme ends of, if you like, contemporary classical music. It felt like uh, we were losing audiences fast and furiously through the concert halls. So we set up a programme where we took, um, if you like, music events into people's living rooms. And uh, it was very much a, a setting up a conversation rather than just performing. And that's really been the hallmark of all the locker activities is that we're trying to get people to talk about and share a vocabulary about new music and then, and with the hope that then people feel that they've got, um, if you like, more ways in to revisiting it and don't just feel like it's something that, frankly, is just an assault on the ears or something to run away from as fast as possible. Now, you're doing a series of performances at number 34, uh, Ideas Test. So uh, tell us a little bit more about the next one, which is on the 29th of uh, September. Well, so, uh, for each of these performances, we uh, wanted to try and work alongside, uh, collaborate with a music genre that isn't necessarily classical. Uh, and on the 29th of September, we were looking for um, a, a folk group, a, a group that was predominantly um, folk-based, but also doing really interesting things within that idiom. And uh, Arcalia came up, and yeah, I'm going to hand over to Gavin to talk a little bit more about what Arcalia do and who they are. Well, we're um, uh, me, Gavin Alexander, and I'm the primary uh, songwriter in the trio, and uh, Teresa Gallagher, who sings, and Simon Foster, who sings as well. And Simon pretty much uh, constructs the harmonies for the songs and Teresa, and each one of us sings lead vocals and each one of us sings BVs. So it's this lovely sort of ethereal sounding uh, trio. And sometimes we go out at the fire piece, which uh, makes it a bit more exciting, but actually it works in both uh, genres and with the uh, five piece or the three piece. And, uh, We've been going about four years and it all seems to be moving forward lovely and uh, our second album is about to be uh, finished. We're just finishing doing the final touches to the recordings um, and hopefully that'll be out in October. So are you playing something specific for this piece or is it a chance for people to hear the kind of stuff you do? Well, I think we're going to play um, a few of our pieces and we can have one, a few of our, our standard set, but we have one specific piece that we were going to do um, with some alternative endings. So the audience get an opportunity to pick the end, basically, decide which they'd like to hear, um, which should be quite an interesting experiment. Yeah, so that's something that we did quite often uh, in the living room concerts, where uh, we'd ask the audience to start thinking about how they, if they were composing pieces, what would decisions would they make and how would they make them? So what actually influences your decision? Is it the is it the, 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 the actual story? Is it the what you want to leave the audience, your audience with if you were composing it? Is it that you just frankly like one ending better than another because it feels like an ending rather than, you know, just hanging over a cliff? And and one of the things that Gavin and I have 
the, the ambition has always been to do some collaborative work with whoever is coming along on these conversation events. And so Gavin and I have been working um, on a piece that we're hoping is going to sit, we're going to premiere it on the 29th. Um, and do you want to play, play a few little bars of it? Play a couple of bars, if you like. Yeah. Go on, then. So what are we, are we telling them what, where it came from, what we were thinking of when we were... Yeah, so this is it. So um, I was looking at folk, how classical um, composers have worked with folk for over the centuries. And there was a chap called Luciano Berrio who wrote an amazing um, folk song cycle, really orchestrally, just so fascinating and wondrous. But there's a particular harp, um, a song accompanied by harp. And I, originally I said to Gavin, do you think you could play this on the guitar? It's the harp. Um, orchestration and Ooh. and from that go on <laughs> well from that I listened to these pieces and while I was sitting in my studio listening away I picked the guitar up and started to come up with a little idea and play the guitar and she's like oh that might have legs so um, we've been we've done a little bit of work on it it's still in its very very early you know it's years. in its infancy please bear that in mind yeah <laughs> It's not there yet, but it's coming. It'll be there for 29. It'll be there for 29, but it's still... But I'll play you a few bars of it. And there'd be vocals over the top of that. So was there anything else you wanted to sort of let our listeners know about this um, performance or anything about the project in general? Uh, well, from my side, one of the things, we had our um, first opening last week and we started to ask the audience to help us compose a piece. And we thought that was just going to be something that we did last week because it was a very installatory type um, interactive uh, event last week, but we've decided we're going to try and create what we can, we're going to call it the Elegy for number 34. Um, and we're asking audience members as they come to help us effectively compose the piece. So hopefully that will be a nice, exciting and interesting thing to do. And then maybe we can come back at some point and perform the piece uh, on radio with you. Yes, that would be, be really good. I was talking to uh, Steph about that. So, uh, yeah, I'd really like to, to do that, definitely. Gav, how are you finding it? Because this is sort of... <laughs> it's all very new to me. And um, this style of uh, modern composition is, is also very new to me uh, because I like more... I come from a more uh, rich and softer harmony-based uh, ideas. So that evening I found... Uh, equally challenging and interesting and, and it stretched me in different directions certainly with the flute pieces that were played um, so I um, for me you know I feel that I came away with some new ideas which I hadn't had as a composer as a musician who creates ideas it opened me up so from that perspective I found it very interesting yeah. I think people will have a, a wonderful night Arcalia on their own are a beautiful and amazing band and then I think this collaboration will be really something interesting mm. for any 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 of your audiences that are out there So if our listeners would like to find out more, do you have uh, a website or contact details? Uh, so the there's two ways of finding out more information, either to go onto the ideas test um, which is ideastest.co.uk um, and having a look at uh, the their events so they can find out about this event um, on their website. We have a Facebook page which is called Locker Network so facebook.com forward slash forward slash Locker Network and Arcalia have a website called uh, www.arcalia.co.uk and um, you can find out all about us. Uh, we have an album on Spotify and iTunes called Rap Your Bones, which you can listen to. 
Uh, and if you like, you can buy. Um, yeah, so you can get us from that and you can find out where we're playing our next gig, which um, I think is just before your gig. So um, in the ship in Gillingham. Yeah. Uh, That's a great idea, actually, because uh, you'll be able to hear on the Arcadia website some of the amazing music um, that's that's going to be being performed on the 29th. I think that would be wonderful to do. Mm, definitely. Well, I'd like to thank the both of you for taking the time out to talk to our listeners here at BRFM Bridge Radio on the uh, Monday Night Community Show. Oh, it's a pleasure. Oh, thank you, mate. Thanks loads. All the best.